Hi guys, welcome to the Trash Situation of the Empire of the Americas. I'm Chevalier, glad to have you with me. So, by the Empire of the Americas, I mean basically the uh, Empire of the New World formed by the natives. So, combining the North and South America and being united under one banner, then kicking out the Europeans. Uh, kicking out of Europeans sometimes can be done fast, sometimes can be done uh, really slowly. It, depends on the actual nation that you get. So, let's talk about the situa the nations that are best suited to do this uh, in every region. I already talked about uh, about them in depth in the, the intro videos. And I'll talk about, uh, let's say, the, the best options and how to cheat those options a little bit. So let's start with the North America. The, you'll see that in the... the Northern American tribes, uh, both the Israel situation and the campaign with the Iron Core, you'll see how it should be done in more detail. But now we'll just uh, go uh, on the bullet points and show you how you should do it and what's the best option. So, let's look at the Choctaw. Basically, the Choctaw, no, no, let's go with the Iron Core first. So, the Iron Core have the best position here, or they have the best ideas and they have a decent position. Uh, they are not part of the lane that I talked about, the lane being this part here, they can, that they can conquer, so they're gonna be a little bit slow in expanding, but they have a decent amount of base stacks, which uh, makes it uh, somewhat acceptable for them. Now they have a standard leader, uh, you'll see that the Choctaw do not have a standard leader, which is to their advantage if you want to cheat a little bit, but they are in this trade node, so you don't have to uh, use base points and you're gonna get uh, more cash and you're gonna you get to unite this trade node here faster, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, which is also good. But overall, they are the second best idea. Uh, mainly because of their position, which is up in the north and you'll want to basically move to the south. And this means that they're gonna have to get a lot of colonist, uh, colonies down to move to the south and move to this area here to westernize faster to get a faster advantage. This basically kills them, because they are the farthest uh, country that can do it, although they have decent ideas, actually quite good ideas, uh, together with the native policies, they are also good, but they are the, the worst country due to their position to western Isles, which, mean, which means that they are really crap. Combined with the no CB, with the fact that you cannot create CBs, uh, no CBs, you can create uh, claims on the country, that means that uh, you're going to be hard pressed to expand, especially because there are not that many nations in this area. So, the Iron Claw are the last because of this, their position, uh, <laughs> just their position basically. There's nothing else. They have a good ideas, they have good starting base tags, but they have wrong position, they're too far away, they're not going to be able to westernize anytime soon. The second country is the Choctaw. Now, the Choctaw have native ideas, which are the second best ideas uh, in the Northern Americas, North America basically, around these tribes here. They have the native ideas, which are quite decent. Uh, actually, I should have talked about the Iron Claw decisions a little bit. Uh, tag, although, there's no need. No, I'll just do it as a... Uh, uh, Iron Claw... Yes, there we go. Uh, just to look at them a little bit. Uh, you have the compatibility, the diplomatic population, good, good, crap, this is also good manpower, trade power, duh, eh? not that great, diplomat, good, uh, manpower, good, discipline, good, prestige, not that great, with the cap at better length of our time, which is decent. So, their decisions are really good, uh, their ideas are really good. Which means, uh, which I think they are the best ideas around this area here, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll go over all of them and you can decide for yourself. Now, for the Choctaw. Let's uh, go up here. Choc. Come on. Choctaw. Now, the Choctaw. Now, come under this and the Choctaw. Basically, they have a better position than the Iron Claw, with slightly uh, worse, uh, worse uh, 
ideas, but they're overall decent. They get they gain manpower to some degree as well. Uh, they get uh, morale. They get uh, idea cost, which is decent. Efficiency, step cost is not that great, but they get the core global center increase past 25, which is quite decent. Uh, which is actually kind of great because you can actually expand faster on this area here. But it's gonna be a while until you get. You need uh, you need two full ideas to get the full uh, full national ideas. No, you need two national ideas to get the country ideas to max, which is quite, uh, or, no, oh, it's, you need three, oh, no, no, you need uh, three ideas, sorry, you need three ideas, basically, to get the uh, full max country ideas. Other than this, they have a good, basically, a good uh, starting point, uh, they can actually conquer this land here, which is going to increase their base stack somewhat which is quite good, then they can somewhat annex this part here and this part there. Uh, but yeah, this this is quite good for them, because they can actually expand to some degree. For more information on an either in-depth analysis, you can check out the either the initial situation video for the new tribes, if I'm not mistaken. It should be two videos before this one on the playlist. And the Iron Claw campaign. The United Tribes of the of the Americas of the North America, no, United Tribes of the North America, which is quite good to be honest. I managed to do some stuff in there, but yeah, you can check those for an in-depth view on how you should do this. Now, the third country that you can do this is the Aztecs. Aztecs, and we have the Aztecs. Basically, the Aztecs have the Natural religion. This being the religion here, you have to reform it. Now, the short, uh, the good qualities of this nation is basically that they are closer to the Brazil, to Brazil, and they can basically westernize faster if they can get to Brazil or or to the Caribbean, to any other uh, new uh, European nation that goes to, uh, to European nation colonies. Basically, that's the way to phrase it. But yeah, that's the only advantage that they have. Idea-wise, they have the combat ability, they have the manpower recovery speed, that's legitimate, that's crap, they have morale. They have not that great, although they have decent morale gain, a uh, decent uh, manpower gain. As you can see, they have two modifiers here, recovery and that manpower. But they are kind of crap, in my opinion, mainly because of their religion. So the Natural religion is gonna be uh, is gonna really drag you down. They don't have good reforms like this. This is not great. This is not great. The discipline is good. Uh, the colonist is this is good as well. But everybody gets a colonist and a step cost modifier is crap. So just this and this. So two out of five. They they are not worth it to be honest. If they were, if it wasn't for their position, I would uh, put them as last. Uh, although they have a decent starting base tax, the fact that they have to, they have the doom doom modifier and they have to expand and contract, it's really bad for them. Although it's not a bad, as bad as the Maya with expansion and contraction, it's still quite bad, and you won't be able to to expand and at the pace that you want, especially when your doom modifier increases. Uh, for every promise that you own, which means that uh, if you want to build a big empire, your doom is gonna increase faster and faster, which is not that great. Other than this, uh, their good points are the basically the the position and small big base tags. But yeah, they are mediocre in ideas, and uh, they will have somewhat of a big competition in this area here. So they are not that great. For the depth analysis, you can actually, ch of the Natural Religion, you can actually check out the Aztec video. It also contains the Natural Religion and how you should expand and more, uh, more analysis on the, on the nation and on the religion as well. On the nations, not the nation, or for all these nations here. Now, the fourth option is the Maya. 
for the Maya, my recommended country is the Shiu. The Maya have the best, uh, let's start with the good parts. They have a better option, they have a shorter uh, road to Brazil basically, to westernize faster. And they have the best religious reforms. If you look at here, they have the uh, land maintenance modifier which is good, national rest which is good, combat which is, which is good, colonists which is good, and court creation cost, cost which is good. So basically, this is huge. Like the Maya have 100% efficiency on their reforms. They are the best that they can be. You'll look at the ANT as well and you'll see that the ANT are or also so so but the Maya have the best uh, have the best religious reforms and also have a decent way into the new world at the same time they also have a decent way into the Incas so they can conquer the Incas as well they are basically the middle nation they can move north they can move south they are the best suited uh, the second best suited nation to actually to actually reform, even though as the shortcomings they have the expansion and contraction, which really sucks. If you actually check look here, you'll see that to basically take a reform, you'll have to lose provinces. So you have to core release, core release, which means that you're gonna lose so many admin points. So it's not gonna be good for you when you, because you want to get the tax faster to get more colonists. So that means that you're gonna be strapped for points uh, for a while. Other than this, uh, they have uh, the national ideas which is which are uh, mediocre I'll say. They don't have any boost in manpower, they have some moral of armies, but overall they have nothing that gives them a, oomph, a boost in their armies which kinda sucks. Uh, the Kitsche ideas, if you want to go with the Kitsche here, they have a secondary ideas, but they are crappier. Let's actually take... Uh, come on. Um, Kitsche. Uh, Kitsche, my bad. Let's pause the game. The Kitsche ideas are worse. As you can see, they are mostly built for somewhat trade. Uh, but yeah, they are crappier than the Mayan ideas. So the Mayan ideas, the country of the Maya, are kind of crap. So it's not actually recommended to play as them. Although they have good religious reforms, their ideas are crap. So you shouldn't play as them. Now, the best country to do this is Cusco. Uh, although, I forgot to talk about this a little bit. Uh, the Maya... The Aztecs have a good starting leader, he's up, uh, upper average, he has uh, 12 points, so he's decent. And the CU have a uh, 431, which is below average, or below average leader. Again, there's nothing much to do. It's not random, they gain it. But the uh, Aztecs, honestly, even with their leader, their crappy ideas and uh, no, their crappy religious reforms, their situation and the expansion and contraction, it it really kills them. Especially because their air is also crap, and the same goes for this art here. It's, it's also crap. So no, these four countries, although you, you can do them, you, know, you can pull it off. It's not recommended if you want to build, uh, if you want to do it the fastest way possible. Mainly, they are far away from the South America, from Brazil. They're, they're, they have expansion and contraction uh, for the, for these nations here, and they have uh, no no claims that you can do when you, you're going to expand slower uh, with Native America. So all of them are quite bad. The best option for you to form the uh, United European of the Americas, the uh, American Empire, basically, is Cusco, and let's go to attack Cusco. Now, Cusco, really, uh, let's chase you, Cusco. Now, Cusco has one of the best starter leaders in the world. He has a 546, which means that you basically have tons of points. You have 15 points overall, which is great. You have a decent amount of base stacks, which is 33. 
and you have excellent air, which is uh, five to six. Basically, you're not going to lose. You're going to lose. Po you're not going to lose points. You're going to have a decent amount of point gain for the uh, for the future. Basically, you're going to have what uh, five. You have eight. If you do this, you're going to have ten. If you get an advisor from the states, for example, you're going to have twelve points per month. If you get this stuff from the board projection, you're going to have. 13 points per month basically so you're gonna gain 13 points per month on uh, on admin uh, even though you you'll have the Andean tech group where you need uh, what 1.5 K points per per tech level with 13 points you're gonna gain the necessary points you're gonna gain the ideas and uh, you're gonna get maybe in five in uh, 50 years, I think, depending on how many events you get. And these guys are gonna be alive for quite a while. Uh, you're gonna have five. Uh, I'll say that you're gonna have this guy up for the next 50 to 60 years, basically. So until the early 500s, you're gonna have five points on admin, which is really good. And uh, honestly, let's do some math. Let's let me take another look and do some math. So you have 13 by 10. You have well, you have about uh, 156 points per year, which means that you're gonna have about uh, a tech every about every nine years. You're gonna have a tech. Let's say every 10 years you're gonna have a tech, and you need five techs, so you need 50 years basically around 50 years. To have uh, to go to take five and do your ideas. It's also recommended that you use only diplo points for this. If you look at the Cusco initial situation, you'll see how to do this better. Also, uh, if you haven't noticed by now, they are the best nation suited to going to Brazil because it's the closest nation. Either you can go to Brazil or you can go to Guyana. Uh, if we go here, actually let's go by the Caribbean basically, let's go by train node. You can go to the Caribbean or to the Brazil train node. The Amazonas is full of uh, tropical, so it's not recommended. Even Guiana is full of, uh, no, uh, Cuiaba is full of, tra of, is full of uh, tropical as well, so it's not recommended. But you can probably pull it off like this by moving through these areas here. Uh, let's see this one. And this one and move all the way to Brazil it's possible and it's also recommended to move two ways one way like this and one way like this so you can have uh, two options also try to expand into these guys whenever possible if you can actually cut your way through them you're gonna s you're gonna save some time although you're gonna have to spend some uh, some adding points to do it it's still a uh, is still quite good. Even you have to spend what uh, the admin points. You're gonna save. Uh, you're gonna save how much? You're gonna save. You, three years. A colony should take you about. Uh, to build a colony as the natives, if you have this, it's gonna take you 30 per year. So you should take you what? In total, about. Uh, uh, third, you need 300 for 10. It should take you 30 years per colony. Although you have that, let's it's gonna have you. So let's say about 10 to 15 years per colony, depending how many of good events you get. So it's not that great. Although somebody can be stated by uh, native assimilation, so they have better events for assimilation. It's again, it depends on your luck. And uh, yeah, the expansion should be like this, and they are the best suited for expanding and uh, westernizing first, coupled with the good idea, the the good starting leader, the decent base decks, the decent uh, troops, and they have decent ideas, I'll say. Although, as you can see, they have uh, land force limits. Idea cost, they're both not that great. They have some tax, they have manpower and discipline, which is decent, but they are kind of split. They don't have that much modifiers for discipline and manpower. So, yeah, although they are, I'll say, 
lower than lower than good basically a, a C minus I'll say maybe even a, a D on ideas so yeah they're not that great as for the religion ref reforms they have core creation cost 10 percent they have moral of armies they have really legitimacy mm, not that great they have the colonist and the manpower recovery speed the ideas are not that great they cannot be compared to the Mayan ideas which are quite good to be honest but their, uh, their starting leader, their position, and, uh, and their overall, stre overall strength makes them the best option to basically form the, the American Empire, like I would like to call it, the American Empire. And their expansion can be done with uh, only Diplo points, which should save you admin points. You can go to the, to the Cusco video for for more information. Now let's say that I'll uh, talk about uh, the actual expansion. So expansion here is going to be quite troublesome. You're not going to be able to see these guys here. Uh, you'll have to go nearby them and maybe take take text and then perhaps you're going to see them. But it's highly unlikely that you'll see them, you'll need to have exploration tech, you'll need tech 5, which is going to take you a while, even in my uh, Iroka campaign, even though I conquer all of this in, I think, 30 years or something like that, 30 to 40 years I conquered all of this place here, I'm still, basically, I'm just standing there, you can watch the videos, uh, by now it should actually start, it should go on on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, so, and the campaign starts on Wednesday so you can actually check it out if you want as for the expansion you have to go into the Aztecs then the Mayans then go here it's quite troublesome and it's gonna take quite a while I'll say close to 150 years to be honest so basically the 1600s you'll probably be able to reach Brazil or something or reach the Incas and conquer of the Incas it's not recommended, it's gonna take you a while, if, uh, if you can do it if you're a fan, I would say, but nothing much, because it's honestly not worth it. For the Aztecs, it's a little bit better, they can conquer these guys, or make a, a line through to Kiche and go into the Incas, and go up here, so they, they can go both ways, but remember you have only one... Uh, one colonist which really sucks and the doom counter is really gonna fuck you up as well because uh, you're gonna get increased uh, doom by the number of provinces that you have so it's gonna fuck you up as well now for the mayas their expansion is pretty much i guess the worst because they have to expand and contract although at the start you can own uh, 12 provinces after you do the first reform and you're gonna release the rest as vassals and you're gonna have the, the truce timer if I'm not mistaken which is really gonna screw you over a lot I would say it's gonna screw you over a lot uh, you can check the Maya videos Maya video for a better analysis on how you should expand faster uh, although uh, let it be noted that the, if there are no cores on those regions they're not gonna be released Right, so if you have, have a colony here uh, that you made yourself and it's your own core, it's not going to be released. Let that be noted, that's not going to happen. Also, I think that if you use Diplo points, uh, there might be a bug somewhere if you want to exploit that. If you use a Diplo annexation and they get released, uh, they will lose their cores, I think. Uh, although I'm not sure. No, it should happen actually. Uh, you can check the video. You see that I worked on some shit, uh, on some bugs. It, they can be fixed if you're looking at this and you are part of Paradox, and you can move it up the chain, and you'll see that there are some bugs there. With uh, if you use the integration tag, if you just tag integ uh, integrate and the tag, and then do the reform, you'll see that they get released, but you have only one country and not the rest. So. The, the Mayas basically they will expand like this and like this like this like uh, this from this part here it's quite possible uh, I would 
honestly say if they had a better leader I would choose the Mayas rather than the Cusco because let's face it they're gonna, the Europeans are gonna arrive here at some time so it's possible for you to expand but they don't have a good leader they also you'll have to core this and release it which is really troublesome for you unfortunately although you can do some shit and move into the Nato Hall because they have smaller base stacks like this is 3-3 and you can move into Totonac oh and as you can see these are 5-5-5-9 five, 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 here so it's possible for you to move into these guys and kill those guys more from the from the Nato Hall religion because they have lower base stacks again you can check the video for more information as for the expansion, it's like this and like this, like the Aztecs, only that you have to create a, a lane through here, a line to go to the to the North Americas, to the North America, and here to the to the Quito, to the Quito, to the Incas, and uh, here to to the Caribbean, so you can actually westernize. Now this is decent, I would say. It's not a great. It's the second best option that you have. I would still recommend it uh, if you want to play. Uh, overall, I would say that. Let's look at the decks here. Overall, their ideas are not that great as the the Cusco, but their religion makes up for it to some degree. Right, you have the land maintenance and the infantry combat ability, so they somewhat make up for it due to the religious reforms. So it's a close call between the Cusco and the Maya. Although I recommend the Cusco, they will gain more base tax because they, yeah, I think they'll gain more base tax. Probably they'll gain more base tax from these guys here than the this you than the Mayas or the Aztecs, and at the same time. They don't have uh, that annoying, uh, that annoying annexation, basically uh, expansion and contraction that the Aztecs and the Maya have. Now, uh, for the Cusco, they don't suffer from their religious reforms that much. Although they're crappier, their reform only requires you to have uh, tag uh, CC you right? Yes. They do not suffer. Uh, they don't suffer that much. They only need to get authority, which increases by uh, on time and or uh, every time, uh, every year, basically. And when you reduce uh, autonomy, so that's why it's recommended to basically go for uh, for deep annexation, so you can reduce autonomy in a better way. As for the expansion, we'll talk about it. So let's say that you actually united some of this. Uh, either way, uh, let's say you united the, uh, the Cusco. Let's say you play as the Cusco. Cusco is the best option to do this. Next up, you can should probably take all of the coastal provinces that you can. Uh, focus on the Caribbean first, then focus on the rest, and then move into Africa and India. This is basically in the late game, and the mid game. You already know it from every nation that I did. You can actually check those videos. I'm gonna sell out. I'm gonna sell myself out big time, but you know, that's the way you should do it. Now, as a couple of tips, as the Cusco, don't, as the any nation actually, try not to waste admin points. Uh, although, as the Native Americans, they are too far behind to be honest, so you can waste some admin points. You're not gonna care that much by the time that you can actually westernize. It's gonna take you a while, so try not to. But still, try not to waste points, basically, especially admin points. Now, for the Aztecs, uh, you're really stuck. I'll say there's nothing much I can tell you to do. You can check the video for more in-depth detail. Uh, but try to make sure that you have OPMs at vessels so that you can conquer them faster, it's gonna allow you to go faster and try to keep vessels uh, after you have taken the reforms as well just so you can actually uh, lower your doom counter. For the Maya, expansion and contraction is 
quite troublesome. So try not to uh, try to be careful when you're expanding and contracting, and try to get your reforms as fast as possible. Uh, if you can, try not to waste admin points by using deep annexation. It is possible. You can try to basically forcefully vassalize guys, but again, be careful of coalitions because you might be stuck with coalitions. So careful of that. For the Cusco, go only for for uh, what's it called deep uh, uh, vassalization, deep vassalization, vassalization, basically integration, because you really don't want to to do admin admin annexation, mainly because. You're gonna have to increase the autonomy so you don't have rebels, and you're gonna lower your religious authority, which is gonna lower your time, uh, the time that you increase the time that you get uh, reforms, and again you're gonna waste also vibing points, and you're gonna be fucked forever. So yeah, use only deep annexation, and use only deep points to get promises. And this is it. There's nothing much to say here. Uh, for I would say the biggest challenge, start with this guy here. I mean, if you want to go for a really challenging start as uniting the the American Empire, go for this little guy here of uh, of Haida. I mean, go for this little guy here. He has some decent ideas. Uh, he has decent national ideas. I actually can't see it, but yeah. This guy is the most troublesome of anybody here. Also, something something can be said about these guys here. The small tribes around this part here, which can actually westernize quite fast. So, uh, if you are a little bit cheeky, uh, these guys don't have a standard ruler, so you can reload. This is quite a cheeky way. Uh, you can actually reload until you get a good leader. Uh, they have the, the South American technology, so they are at 350%, and they have the same uh, the same national ideas, so the same native ideas as the North Americans because they're a tribe as well. So the way the way you can do it is basically stockpile up points up to like 3.5k, then westernize, then waste your points, so you can actually gain a huge amount of tech up. Uh, it's quite cheeky I would say and it's quite well to do it although let it be noted <laughs> that is gonna take a while. Uh, you're gonna, no, it's not gonna take a while. It's gonna be quite fast to westernize but you are gonna have what should I call it basically a shit based tax. There's nothing much to say about this. You're gonna have a shit based tax you're not gonna be able to use anything. At most, you're gonna be able to build some more buildings to get more cash because they have buildings that you can build the the tribes. But still, you are kind of screwed. You can move some colonies up here. So let's say you start with I don't know some guys who have the best base tax. Uh, I don't know this guys perhaps. Okay, you have ten base tax here. Uh, you have ten base tax here as well. So. You can probably migrate from place to place, get more points as well, and then settle between, let's say, this and this, and then build colonies, and or migrate here, here, and here, till you get here, then build some colonies, for example, or leave your colonies here, anything of this sort, and migrate, migrate, migrate. But yeah, a really cheeky way is to do it with this. It's at the same time difficult, and at the same time easy. Because you can westernize faster, that means that you're gonna have some decent amount of power, but you're gonna be stuck uh, if the Europeans attack you, you're gonna die instantly. You're gonna really die instantly if you actually try to. try to. oh, as I say, try to expand the colonies, might actually kill you when they form. So, yeah. It's tricky, but. I would say that it is indeed possible, uh, but you're gonna have a smaller empire, so you're not gonna be able to fight against the Europeans uh, if they decide to attack you. So you are basically at the mercy of your enemies. 
And also let it be noted that you can instantly expand into Africa and India and uh, and in India, so you can actually compete with the Europeans to some degree. Let that be noted that you can compete with the Europeans to some degree for the colonization of Africa and India. And also you can actually move from here to Brazil. So yeah, that is also good. Thus is good. But let it be noted that you can't move from Brazil up to the to here. So you're probably gonna have to establish a base in the Caribbean. It's a little bit complicated, but it's doable. As for you should have native ideas, right? Tag uh, what's this? I'm really curious. Uh, no, Potiguar. Poti. It's possible, yeah. Um, no, you went to Potawami. Let me actually check some shit. Uh, let me go to the browser and uh, go for tags. Uh, country tags year four. And I actually want to check their ideas. See if they have the same idea. Although. Oh no, they have. Uh... No, they have the TUP traditions. Oh, migration cooldown. That's actually quite great. Tupiampa. No, they have all the TUP traditions. Let's actually. Uh, let me check out the country ideas and give you a in depth analysis on the tribes here. Uh, what? Tupiana. Tupiana. Tupi. Tupiana. Uh, PTG. Black PTG. Uh, PTG. Here we go. And we have Potiguara. And the ideas are manpower recovery speed, uh, reinforced speed, really? Oh, so they have a decent, uh, different ideas. No, 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 that's stupid traditions. Wait, didn't they have migration? Like, I could have sworn they had migration. Oh, they have, but they have the Tap Tapuian ideas. Oh, so they are all different. Man, this is just bullshit. Ooh. So yeah, their ideas are stab cost modifier, prestige decay, infantry compatibility, national member modifier, production efficiency, decay for defense with this and this. Mm. They have a decent amount of vampire, I'll say, with 15 and 10. Increase some production bonuses. They are quite decent. I'll say they somewhat go for the late game. The four defense would be quite useful against the Europeans to some degree. The decay as well, I guess. But Tapuya, let's actually go for Tapuya. Tapu. Tapuya. Tapuya. Tua. Tak Tua. Let's actually check that. Check these guys as well. So they have the migration cooldown minus 20%, which means that you can get more points in the early game with the tolerance of the true fate, which is quite decent. And they can't form anything, right? Penetration, unrest, production efficiency. No, no, I'll recommend, uh, I'll recommend this guy here. Although they have the migration and you can migrate faster, it's it won't make that much of a difference, to be honest. So it's best to it's better to have the Potiguara, uh, Potiguara or uh, this guy here. It's your call, I guess. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. Actually, these guys have better base tags at the start, but it still doesn't matter that much. Hey, oh, they start with Kakoa. Yeah, these guys are better by a short margin. They start with the Kakoa, uh, Kakoa, and uh, they have higher development basically so they are a little bit better but yeah if you want to go for a for a cheeky strategy and at the same time easy at the same time hard go for one of these tribes here you can westernize faster and then you can probably slowly conquer everything because the player is smart on the AI but I still doubt the fact that you're gonna be able to kill these guys at a faster rate than the Europeans but yeah 
This is it for the Empire of the America. Uh, the American Empire. Let's call it this. American Empire. I'll uh, decide when I do the video. The video stuff. How we should probably call it. This 50, right? Yeah, you get 50. And you can go whatever the fuck you want. Also, remember that you can, if you regret, you're gonna lose your your stuff, your uh, buildings. So it's not recommended. And you can also build like two province, two buildings for two buildings per province. So try to be really careful of what buildings you build. Although recommended stuff will be to build advisor, perhaps uh, you should do not plan to move. Then the tax modifier, local tax modifier. Or actually, yeah, or the long house and the tax modifier. It depends on the, your stuff, but the, the device that costs minus 50% is gonna actually lower your, it by a lot. But yeah, this is the end of the series, uh, this end of this episode, actually, not series. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like to watch more of this initial situation, you can check the playlist. And if you want to watch more of my stuff, you can check my channel. With this, I bid you farewell, and I'll see you next time, guys. Ciao.